Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th. The 30th, you know, that's the date I'm doing it, but this can resonate three days from now, a week from now, and any time. So feel free to go back and look at any other daily vibes because it may have some um, resonance with you at any time, okay? The daily vibes are for whoever, whenever. Just an energy that I'm picking up on today. What do I need to reveal today? I'm not accepting private readings at this time. December 30th, December 30th, mm. I'll zoom this camera in after I get the cards laid out. Well, we have a completion here, right? And it's a major one. The first three cards are major arcanas. So that means it's big. It's big. And whatever this is, uh, is divinely guided. Because majors are the universe. The universal work. Minors are your free will. So we have the universe at work here. They are, they are helping somebody to evolve, you know, to receive some sort of blessing. Ending, there's an ending that's happening, but it's bringing you a blessing. It's going to bring you some peace. All right. There's been a lack of wish fulfillment somewhere. There has, and somebody has lost hope. It's like they don't have any more desire, okay? The hope, there's no desire. There's no wish fulfillment where they're at. There's no more... Spark, it's like the spark is gone, it's been put out. The spark has been put out, right? You know, so the spark has been put out. And when that happens, you gotta you gotta let something end so that you can have the new beginning. You know, with endings become new beginnings. This is a transition. Somebody is transitioning at this time and they and they are you know letting go of some sort of tension. Something has been very tense in their life. There's been a lot of conflict and it looks like somebody is making some sort of compromises to bring peace back to their lives. The only way to do that is to allow transformation and to move in a new direction. So... We do have a we have an ending here. We I mean you can't you can't pretend with the death card. This is definitely a, a, an end of something, you know. Um, it's the end of conflict. It really is. So whoever is deciding to transition is is doing the right thing for themselves. They're doing what they need to do to bring back the peace and harmony in their life. They've been in a spot where they they just have lost hope you know I've lost hope I have there's no there's no inspiration for me here you know so I think somebody is uh is in the period uh, or at the point of transition um let's get some more cards here hmm yeah yeah Whoever, whoever this person is that's moving in a different direction is giving up on something that has caused them a lot of stress. Not gonna, I don't want this anymore. All I want is peace and harmony. They realize that wherever they've been, there's no... There's no hope. There's no fixing it. There's no new beginning. There's no fresh start. There's there's nowhere to go.
Mmm, beautiful. Beautiful. It really is beautiful because with these, let me make sure this is zoomed in before I go any further. This transition that's happening, this, this transformation, this ending is leading somebody towards a new partnership. It is. But in order to get this partnership, they have to let something end. Something that was very stressful. You know, this, this, this has caused a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of sadness. And now they're doing what they have to do. They're doing what they have to do to bring back the balance and the peace. So it looks like somebody is standing up for themselves. Doing what's right for them. Taking back their power. Taking back control. Regaining control of them, their lives. It's like I'm, I'm stepping out of this conflict. I'm stepping out of it. I don't want to be in it anymore. I don't want to be there. Um, we have freedom. I mean, this is freedom and this is freedom. Somebody is breaking free. There is absolutely no doubt after being stuck, no doubt after being stuck, not having faith, not, not believing, you know, they've lost their hope for so, quite some time, but it looks like this person has received some sort of divine guidance. Okay. Universal help, obviously. To move in a new direction towards towards love, whatever this is, because we have a opportunity for a new union, and it looks like there's one that needs to end first, there's one partnership that needs to end, there's a death of a partnership, there is, but endings bring new beginnings, they do, they do, so somebody is ending something that has been very stressful. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. And they're, they're, they're breaking free from a toxic situation, a conflict, a fight. It's like, I, I, I can't. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free. Um, it looks like they're standing up for themselves. Because wherever they're at, there's the, the spark has died. There's, there's, there's just no more fire. There's no more desire. Okay. Somebody has been weighed down, weighed down by conflict. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Whoever this is for, it's like I can't do this anymore. And now they're, they're just, I, I got to defend myself. I got to do what's right for me. Yeah, that's what's happening. Somebody is doing what's right for them. It's justice. Justice is about doing the right thing. It's about integrity. It's about making the final decision. And this is finality at its best right here. And this is absolutely positively universally driven. We have the majority. So the majority is major. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is definitely universally driven. It's like this is a situation in which a final decision is being made. Somebody is seeing the truth of a matter and they know that they have to they have to complete something. This is a completion. They know that they do. They have to be honest. They have to break free from some sort of toxic situation. Now a toxic situation could be anything. It could be an addiction. It could be a relationship, it could be something that people, the constant battle, constant fight, because I see that there's, there's been a constant battle here and somebody has been constantly having to defend themselves and it's like, I don't want to do that anymore. I just don't want to do that anymore. So it's time for me to bring balance back. Somebody is doing what they need to do to straighten out their lives. I got, I got to straighten this out. I got to take back my power. I got to take back control. I got to take back control of my life. Somebody is absolutely completing a cycle. And it does have to do with another person. It does have to do with another person. So I'm not sure what that is, but there's an ending of a, of a partnership here. There is. Okay. 
I mean, they're like this. It's, 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 it, there's an ending of a partnership. I can't. I mean, that's what it is. But you got to remember that endings bring new beginnings. And so we do have a, a end of one partnership that is going to make you available for a new one. I mean, that's all there is to it. You will get justice for acting with integrity, for breaking free from something that doesn't serve you. You will get justice for that, for doing the right thing. Yeah, you do get justice for that. So heavy. These are both. This is so heavy. It's like I, I can't hang on to this anymore. I can't. Oh, so somebody could be, you know, breaking away from a commitment or they could be heading right into a new one. With a soulmate, because this is a this is a soulmate connection, especially with this card. It's going to go right here. Somebody is going to have a new beginning with a soulmate. Where there's going to be a lot of happiness. If you if you don't know who this person is, you can meet this person at some sort of celebration. You can meet this person um, anywhere where there's a bunch of people. Obviously. That's pretty obvious. That's usually where you're going to meet people, right? Is where there's people. <laughs> you're not going to probably... Well, some people meet people online, right? But I don't see this as being an online thing. I don't. This is a gathering of some sort. A gathering, a celebration. It is a celebration. So, of two people coming together. So, two people are going to come together. You're going to receive the justice for doing the right thing and ending something that was very stressful. I mean, very, very stressful, very competitive. It's like it was a constant competition, constant battle. I mean, very, a lot of anxiety. And it's like, I can't. No, I just want my peace. I want my peace. I want my contentment. I want my happily ever after. I want my relationship of, you know, my soulmate. I'm in search of my soulmate here. So I feel like somebody is going through some sort of transition renewal. A transformation. These are both transformation cards, and and they're uh, they're releasing things that no longer serve them. I mean, the devil reverse. There's something being released that no longer serves them, and because they're doing the right thing, they are going to receive the commitment of a lifetime. I mean, that's what this is. Somebody is going to put in all the work. They're going to put in all the effort that they need to put in to release. There's no doubt. To let go. To let go of something that is too heavy. A lot of heaviness. Somebody is going to put in the effort to just move on. To evolve. To heal. After they've been in a situation that they can't heal from. You know, they haven't been able to heal. They haven't been able to move on. They haven't, they've let fear get in the way. But now it looks like they have found some sort of strength within themselves to put in effort to go after what they deserve. What they deserve. So I have, a, I see an ending here. I, I see a release because a death is a release. That is allowing a major transformation. A healing is going to happen. And it looks as though there's going to be a new partnership that comes out of this. Let's get a couple of these for the heck of it. Somebody's given up on something that has no more fire. There's no more passion. There's no more spark. There's no more growth. It's dead. It's dead. 
Now I have to do what's right for me and break free from this fight because I want this divine partnership. I want this. I want this. And because they do the right thing, they act with integrity and they break free from something that doesn't serve them, they're going to get it. They are. Whoever this is for, you're going to get it. You are going to get it. And if you haven't met this person, you can meet this person at work or you can meet this person at a gathering of some sort. You can even meet them at a courthouse. Just saying. Angel of balance. It's funny. This is balance. This is balance. And I'm not, I think I may have mentioned it. Somebody is doing whatever they got to do to bring back. I said peace and harmony, but balance. This is all happening to restore balance. And this is restoring balance as well. A lot of it. So to restore balance in your life, I got to do what I got to do for me. Somebody is making a decision to release something that has messed up their, their whole life. At this point. And this is divine guidance as well. This is definitely universally driven. The universe has been watching and they're 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 sending in. They're sending in like somebody, an angel, obviously, an angel or somebody up there to help you transition, to help you release. To help you bring back the balance that's been lost. Oh, goodness gracious. Woman holding coin. <laughs> if you are a man and you're the one breaking free, this could be the one that you are headed towards. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, that could certainly be the case. This is a very stable, solid, secure um, opportunity. Um... If you are the woman watching this, this could be <clears throat> who you are becoming or who you are. This could be where you're headed. Maybe you've decided you're just going to focus on your, you're going to focus on your coin. You're going to focus on your money. You're going to focus on your job. You're going to focus on everything but love at this time. But you know how that works out. You decide that you're not going to, you're not, you're not going to focus on love. And that's when love comes in. And one of the reasons there could, I just this just popped in, there could be the death of something is because we have a woman here who's too focused on her coin. Maybe somebody has come to the realization that whoever they're dealing with is too focused on everything but love. And I want love. I want love. I don't want, I don't, I, I'm not looking for just money. I'm looking for love. So it feels as though... We have somebody here that could be dealing with a woman that maybe this woman is just after them for the money. You know, maybe this woman has just been using the man. Just saying, just saying. I mean, it could go so many ways. And this man has finally realized, you know what? I, fuck you. Excuse my language. Anyway, um, or this could be the woman. This could be the woman that's going after this. It's like, you know what? I can take care of myself. I don't, I don't need you. It could go so many different ways. Angel, a lot of angels here, right? There absolutely is. Angel of strength. Somebody from above, there's no doubt about it, is giving somebody the strength, the balance, the ability. I mean, the ability to evolve. They really are. Somebody from above is pushing somebody in a new direction. There is no doubt. There is no doubt about it. They are... Guiding the way to a new life. So I feel like today is a day that, well, I don't know if it's today. It could be next week. It could be tomorrow. Whenever this resonates, somebody is going to find the strength to release something that is toxic because they have to do the right thing for themselves. 
They got to bring back balance. They got to bring back peace and harmony. The universe sees it. The universe sees that they have been stressed, losing sleep. They see it. They see it. And they see that they're, they're probably dealing with another person who is not emotionally invested anymore. They are. They're probably dealing with another person that is... I mean, I don't, I don't see a lot of love here. And then, you know, they're deciding, they're deciding that, you know, I, I don't want to do this anymore because I want this soulmate. I want this partnership of a lifetime. So I feel like we have a transition here. Endings bring new beginnings. So I feel like we have a, a completion, a death of something. A death of what was, really. Because somebody has evolved. I'm not the same person I used to be. That's what this is. I'm no longer silver. I'm gold. So yeah, we have somebody that is not who they used to be. And they're going to put in the effort with a lot of divine help, you know, to move in a new direction to a better place where there's a lot more happiness and a better partnership. Somebody is heading in a new direction and that's what's going on here. So I really don't feel like I need to get any more cards. We'll get one more card. We'll use one of these. <laughs> Somebody has given up on a, a situation, a dead end situation. They are. They are. I mean, I'm not going to pretty it up and make them all upright just to give everybody a positive message. That's, that's not logical. It's not uh, real. Okay? It's not real. We got two. Cupid. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. This is summing up my whole reading. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. This is what's happening. I can't, I can't even get over it. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself, and that is exactly what's going on. <laughs> your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. reawakening. That's what's going on here. I want love. I want true love. Not fake love. Not something that's unreal. That's the reason I don't do reversals. I want real. The real deal. Not that the, the uprights aren't real. I'm just saying. I mean, you're going to get the real deal from me. I don't, it's not always positive. Life has ups and downs. Oh, oh well, here we go. Here we go. Imagine that shit. Uh, you saw the cards fall out. And I'm saying this is what you're going to get from me. Okay. This is what you're going to get from me. <clears throat> Trustworthy guidance. Unbelievable. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. Now, this is from the angels. This is angelic guidance right here. It is. You see the angel? Ask, and they will provide you the answers. This is how I do my readings. 
they give me the answers. Ask and they will give you the answers. But sometimes they don't give you the answers in a way that you will notice right away. Okay? And sometimes they don't answer right away. Okay? Sometimes they will answer in um, unpredictable ways. Days later or hours later, whatever. Ask your angels and they will give you an answer. Believe it. They will. Anyhow... We definitely have some angels around here. There's no doubt about it. And they are guiding somebody in a new direction towards true love. All you got to do is find the strength to follow your heart. And leave the toxic situation behind. Okay? That's all you got to do. That's what I have. Talk to you next time.